with a yo-ho grunt. It's on the seas that I hunt to find all the clues and bring all the news and shove them right up your cup. Your my hearties, Captain Falcor here on your number one stop for see if these new speculation in general rambling. Hey peeps, Falcor here. So the more and more I do on these videos, the more and more I'm starting to discover that most of these R's are connected in some way. And a story that starts at one is often finished on another. Crook's Hollow is certainly no exception to this because it was originally designed to be part of Thieves Haven, but was later decided to be too large, so was split into two separate aisles that we know today. So it's safe to say that whatever we find on Crook's Hollow is just a continuation of Thieves Haven. And for those who did not watch my Thieves Haven video, there is definitely a connection between Thieves Haven and Snake Island. Here's a quick recap. Stone Tribe are boring f some want to get high. They call up their peeps on Snake Island, who get off their tits on snake venom on lotus flower. Snake Island dude is like, nah man, can't do it, no cups. Stone Tribe is like, got you covered dude. Snake Tribe bro sandwich Stone Tribe, happy endings rainbow farts. That pretty much sums it up. So on Thieves Haven, which is also Crook's Hollow, well, well in fact Crook's Hollow doesn't technically exist because it's actually Thieves Haven, but Thieves Haven isn't Thieves Haven either, it's something different or was or something. Uh, try to keep up. So in my Thieves Haven video there was one wall painting that I left out. This one, a man standing in front of what appears to be three crabs. The reason for not showing this in my last video was because of its connection to Crook's Hollow, which we'll delve more into now. We'll come back to this painting later. So Crook's Hollow is a small island which shares the same scenic qualities as Thieves Haven. I searched around its entire area, even had a quick swim through the ocean and discovered a lot of fishies. Looks like they weren't lying with this wall painting. Once again, this is from Thieves Haven, but Thieves Haven is Crook's Hollow, but neither are neither, because they don't, but only in the past when they were one, but not of the same name, and I've gotten cross-eyed. Okay, 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 let's just have a rule here. I'm going to be including wall paintings from both Thieves Haven and Crook's Hollow, and we're all going to pretend that they are the same island for the duration of this video. Call me mad, but I don't think any of us want an aneurysm. Now let's move on. So there are many wall paintings on the island that tell a story and I think I've done my best at putting it all together. It's a bit weird, but just go with me. The people of this island were terrorized by a large crab. In this picture you can see two blue crabs and a blue man. Blue paintings often signify passive or peaceful whereas red always signify danger or aggression. Although there appears to be three large crabs, I think it's only the centre one that we should focus on being the monster. The two to the other side of him are passive and probably of normal size, and are friendly toward the people on the isle. It appears as though people on this island were harassed by this creature for quite some time, and often went on hunts to try and defeat him, so they had to come up with a different way to kill or pacify the creature. So they went about building a large home and beacon and set it alight, so others would come to their aid. Thankfully for them, someone came to their aid, a member of the snake tribe that brought with them a noxious drink or poison or maybe even an early version of alcohol. Much partying was had and they probably got really fucked up and had a great old time, but it still didn't stop their little crab problem. That is until one drunken night the crab must have come ashore and stolen their brew from under their noses. Give it back, the island dwellers said. This stuff is awesome. Awesome, said the crab. Oh, okay, you know what, you're pretty cool when you're drunk, said the people. I know, right? You're cool too, guys. Much love. Let's do this more often, replied the crab. And the land was saved. Whenever the crab returned, he would get drunk and party and become a cool dude. I know, I know, this video is far different to my other ones, but let's face it, this is easily the weirdest scenario I've covered yet, and it all seems a bit silly, so I needed it to be a silly vibe. But could we possibly be looking at a crab boss encounter in future updates, where the sole objective is to get it as drunk as possible so we can defeat it? Seems like a fun concept that I'd imagine Rare willing to do. What do you guys think about these wall paintings? Leave your opinions in the comments down below. And as always, if you liked the video, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you really liked the video, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
tell your friends, and hell, click the bell as well, so you're always informed of Sea of Thieves news, speculation, and other random gameplay. I'm Falcor, I've got a cold. Happy sailing. <laughs>